So, uh, I'll be sharing um, a little of my story uh, with you guys today. So, um, may kli lang siya. Sabi ko nga na pressure ako sa mga pa-introduction ni Sir Nelson at sa, sa sharing niya itself. So, I'll, I'll just try to put a little, um, konting additions lang into it. I hope you will be able to learn something from me today. So, yeah. Uh, here is my uh, short stint or short story about my stint in San Life. And I just entitled that How I Became an Entrepreneur. So as mentioned by Sir Nelson Kanina, uh, I'm actually an auditor by profession, CPA. And before I became full-time with San Life, I'm a 25-year-old holding a managerial position in the number one uh, auditing firm globally. So kailangan lagi yung minimension. Kasi siyempre, um, pride yun nung firm namin before. Kasi if you are uh, in the Philippine setup, yung number one kasi sa Philippines is SGD. Pero globally, Deloitte yung number one. So yeah. Uh, I'm handling 15 to 20 companies in my portfolio. And I'm managing 10 to 50 staffs at that time. And also managing 5 to 10 boards. Iba pa kasi yung kung kanino kami nagre-report. At that time, actually, uh, masaya naman yung spin ko sa Deloitte. Sobrang na-enjoy ako. Marami ako natutunan. And I'm so exposed with different companies uh, talking to their uh, CFO, president. So, yan yung background ko before. Masaya siya. And yan yung mga na-audit ko na companies, some of them, yun yung mga pinakamalalaki. Yung mga pinakamagagandang industries dyan na na-experience na ko, yung BA Aerospace, sa ano yan, sa Batangas, um, sila yung gumagawa ng mga interiors ng air airplanes. So, kapag sumakay ka ng pal, yung CR doon, gawa yun dito sa Pilipinas. Pati yung mga lalagyan doon ng food, yung ovens, yung galleys, dito yung ginagawa sa atin. So, amazing kung paano, kung paano sila ginagawa. So, kanta ng company na yan. Tapos, wala. Wait lang nga, nawala. Ayan. Tapos, uh, yung uh, PNG, of course, kung paano nila ginagawa yung Tide, etc. SGS, sila naman yung uh, nag-check ng uh, processes ng companies. Certif Nag-ISO certify sila. So, of course, si Sandlight nakawakan ko once. Yung maganda din itong Kepel Shipyard sa ano yan, Bawan Batanga. Uh, gumagawa sila ng yung mga cruise ship na sina ni Sir uh, and other ships sila yung gumagawa nun. Uh, so, masaya. Masaya yung stint kasi sa Sandlight. Ay, sa, sa Deloitte before. And of course, kain din kami ng kain every after engagement. So, how do I go from being a corporate person that is so in love with her job? Paano ko napunta into being a Sandlight Financial Advisor? So, yun yung pinaka ikukwento ko. So, nung nandun ako sa Deloitte, uh, yun nga, maraming learnings, maraming experiences. Nakakatuwa, masaya. Pero just like Sir Nelson, medyo bored and bored. Kasi if you are in corporate, sabi ko nga, ang hinahandle ko na clients is 15 to 20. Imagine that. So kung 15 to 20 yung clients mo, 15 to 20 yung binibisit mo a year, 15 to 20 engagement yung hinahawakan mo, 15 to 20 uh, different teams yung minamanage mo. So medyo toxic siya uh, in a sense na maraming work, sobrang workload. And yung 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours a day, minsan kulang siya talaga. Kasi pag nagsabay-sabay yung client, lalo na kapag deadline. So sobrang uh, magstay ka talaga in the office. So yung 95% ng work, wala siya sa field, which is yung fun and cool stuff. Yung 90%, 95% ng work, ayan, nasa desk ako, nag-work, nag-excel, chinecheck yung mga libro ng clients, and nakikita and meetings sa kanila. So, uh, at some point, medyo, syempre dahil napapagod ka, mananawa kay. And, 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 at that point, naisip ko, is there more to life than this? And I was actually looking for more. Uh, I wanted to define success, kung eto ba siya, or there's more to it. Kasi, syempre, as, as, as a person na lumaki sa hirap, walang magandang um, uh, what, hindi naman maganda, walang maganda. I mean, yung background namin is hindi siya well of na family. 
kung sinasabi kung nila lang ni Sir Nelson yung tatay niyang sundalo, ayoko na lang magsalita. Pero medyo mayaman na yun sa amin. So kami yung super as in uh, elementary, high school, college, uh, lahat yun gapang. Lahat yun pinanghihingi sa mga mag-anak. Lahat yun uh, talagang dinidiscard it. As in, bago ka makakuha ng, ng pambili ng project, matinding iyakan yun. Kasi na yung means namin, sobrang... So, as a young kid na may ganung status sa buhay, syempre ang gusto mo yung maman. And nung nandun ako sa Deloitte, I'm a manager at that time, I'm earning around 30,000, 40,000 a month. If I do the math, since I'm an accountant, sas- masasabi ko din na hindi hindi ka yayaman in that field. Hindi ka hindi ka hindi ako yayaman sa corporate. So I'm I tried to read some books as I try to find more. Sabi ko hindi 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 enough. Kulang na siya. Eh. Although enough siya na mapakain kami ng three times a day, masuportahan yung family ko and all, makapag-rent, makakain ng medyo masasarap makakain sa labas. Kaya lang kulang eh. So at that time, we're still renting. 26 years of renting, kaiba-iba ng address. Most of those, hindi magagandang kwento. Mga walang sariling CR, sobrang diit. Kaya ang lalaki namin. So my desire to to really have more ignites. And it, nag, nag, I try to find ways on how on how to to level up the game. So may nabasa ako ng book. This one is given to me by Miss Reina nung client nila ako. So naging client, stranger sila sa akin. They were appointed as my uh, advisor at the time. Nag-group discussion sila sa company na hindi ko alam kung paano nangyari kasi bawal mag-discuss yung Sun Life sa company namin because we are the auditor of Sun Life. So parang conflict of interest siya in a sense. But I don't know how it happened. So they were able to 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 present And si Ms. Rain, tsaka si Sir Jeff, yung na-assign sa akin as an advisor. Nung, nung, nung kinaklayat nila ako, sabi ko, huwag na nila akong bentahan. Busy kasi ako, so nagmamadali ako. And also, nakuha na kasi nila ako dun sa group financial presentation. So nagbigay na ako ng budget, tapos um, nagkwentuhan na lang kami, and then we closed the sale. Tapos right after we closed the deal, nung patapos na kami, binigay sa akin ni Ms. Rain yung libro na Eight Secrets of Truly, Truly Rich. Hindi ko lang binasa agad, siguro mga after six months or after a year ko siya binasa. Nung yun nga, naghahadap na ako ng, ng ways on how to earn more, to be more. Um, nung binasa ko yan, sobrang nipis niyan, malaki yung font, ang ganda ng content. So nabasa ko siya in one city. So dahil ako mahirig magbasa ng libro, sobrang swak siya sa akin. So if you haven't read it, I, I really suggest you you read it na. Tapos, Eight Secrets, di ba? Hindi ko na matandaan yung pito actually. Pero yung isa, I remembered um, vividly na ang tinantasan ko lang dyan, shock sabi ni Bo, I have to learn how to sell. So if you're an accountant in an auditing firm, CPA, na sinabi nung college sa'yo, uh, for you to be rich, kailangan daw mag-CPA ka lang. Pero ba lang daw may bayad na? So, it's a scam. Hindi po yung totoo. <laughs> so, sabi ko, shucks, kailangan ko rin pala matutong mag-sell. And it makes logical sense kasi nga, kung iisipin mo, uh, hindi mo makukuha yung biggest uh, reward just by staying to be employed. Because your bosses are sellers. They get clients. And as the one getting the clients, they earn more than you do. Kasi hindi ka nila ay hire paying you a specific amount if wala silang makukuha ang client that will sustain you. And for sure, yung nakukuha nilang client pays more. So, uh, I'm eager nung nabasa ko to na matuto na magbenta. I tried searching on ways on how to do selling. Nag-try ako mag-join ng mga MLMs kasi yun yung uso at that time. Pero walang nagiging masyadong uh, success. Because he, hindi na nga ako seller, tapos hindi pa ako naniniwala doon sa product nila. And then I remember, yun nga, si Sir Jeff at saka si Miss Rain. So I contacted them. So sabi ko, I wanted to do what they do. And attended series of LBFs like this also. So sabi ni Bo Sanchez, uh, be wealthy because when you are, you can be a blessing to the people around you. 
And itong text na to, um, fire the desire within me to really uh, strive to be successful, to be rich, para um, kumita ng mas malaki. So, pero nung nag-start ako kay Sun Life, um, meron lang akong tatlong reason. So, yung number one nga doon is I wanted to learn how to sell. Yun talaga yung number one. Sabi ko, if I'm going to to enter into a different platform that my, than my current field, my number one goal is just to learn how to sell. Para lang mapagbigyan ko yung sinabi ni Bo. Pero hindi ko iniisip na si Sun Life yung magiging um, mainstream platform. Kung baga sa akin, stepping stone siya. Gusto ko lang matutunan kung paano magbenta and then I'll look for another business to do to do things. Number two, um, as a young millennia, medyo gusto namin matutunan yung mga investments. So, kahit na na-accounting yung field ko, hindi naman yan yung forte namin. Hindi yan yung tinitignan namin. It's more of pang finance major kasi. Pero gusto ko matutunan how stock market works, what are the different kinds of investment, etc., etc. And then lastly, I just wanted to learn a little extra. So, syempre, kung mag i ka na lang din, Kung mag i ka na lang din, gusto ko, kumita na ako. And since meron naman akong uh, regular job, kahit maliit lang okay na sa akin. At least may free trainings naman ako within the two. Kasi kung hindi ako nag-sunlight, I have to get degrees for that and I have to pay for it. So it's a bonus na sa akin na kumita. Pero syempre, yung share ko dahil nga success story siya. Um, surprisingly, the career, the stint and sign life has given me more. More than I think what I deserve, more than what I asked for. So, yeah. so yung first is learning how to sell. So, sabi ko nga, binigyan niya ako ng mas mataas pa dun sa hinihingi ko. Um, I did not only learn the art of selling, I learned so many things along the way. It, and I became emotionally strong as well. Why? Kasi sa sun life, maraming trainings and normally it focuses on on building you as a person. So in building you, they believe uh, that if they will able to mold you as a good individual, later on you'll be able to to contribute sa company. Unlike in the corporate, they focus on the corporate itself. You are a byproduct. So, in Sun Life, it's so amazing because you're not a byproduct. You are the product. And and they believe that that if they hone you, make you the best person you can be, then you can contribute to the company. So, ganun yung normal talks na meron sa Sun Life. So, sobrang nakakamaze. Kaya, uh, imposible na hindi ka magiging mentally and emotionally tough. So, Yung, yung sales, uh, ganun pa rin cycle niya. Kaya pala sobrang daming magagaling na salesperson. Grabe din kasi yung whirlwind na pinagdadaanan nila. I also learned the value of teamwork. I learned the value of network. You cannot do it alone. You need a team that will guide you. So, lastly, inevitably, you will see good things in people. So, in summary, sa sales, Number one is you will definitely be out of your comfort zone. Because one way or the other, there will be dilemma and you will solve and conquer it. And this will require continuously breaking your comfort zone. So as in, pagka piling mo magaling ka na, biglang may dadarating na barrier. Breakthrough mo yun. Tapos magiging new normal mo siya. Tapos magdadating na naman na dilemma. Tapos ibibreakthrough mo yun. So corporate normally hindi ganun yung nangyayari. Feeling mo ikaw yung nagsusolve ng problem. Feeling mo yung mga bosses wala silang ganagawa. Pero dun ka nagkamali. Kasi yung nasa yung byproduct na eh. Sila yung naghahanap ng client. Sila yung tumitingin kung magkano yung cash flow. Sila yung tumitingin kung kaya pa ba ng business and all. Therefore, the greatest sacrifices actually nandun pa rin sa mga boss. Sila yung nag-iisip kung paano lalaki yung business. Paano mag expand Paano dadami yung client. Paano may improve yung internal systems and all. Dito, ikaw yung gagawa nun because you are the business owner. You are the business. Number two, you will learn to collaborate. You will know that to be successful, you have to be part of an ecosystem. And there is no one-man ecosystem. Kaya nga, pag nasa sales ka, nakakabait pala talaga. 
hindi dahil plastic ka, pero dahil may isip mo na every individual is actually connected at some point. Connected siya in a sense na one person could give you the greatest gain. Pwedeng yung, yung janitor, di ba? Pinakisamahan mo. Tapos sobrang friend pala siya ng president ni Reporka. Mga ganun. So dito, every one is actually pantay-pantay sila. Kaya bumabait ka din. So yung next is, you're going to expand. You have to keep abreast of the changes, updates, modernization, and improvement. There is a constant learn-unlearn cycle. Your knowledge is never enough, and thus you will grow wanting to get to know more and be better in detail. So pag nasa sales ka, laging ganun. Palaging may bago. Katulad ngayon, ECQ. So we, some of the superstar rock stars sa Sun Life, they don't even know how to use iPads. Pero they have to learn right now. And most of them are adapting because they have to. So if you're the one, if you're the business owner, you have to always keep abreast. So as a person, nag-grow ka din talaga na nag -grow. So yun nga, ang sabi ko, uh, I'm so lucky to be part of a family of a company that focuses more on the you rather than on the we. Because they know that if they make you the, the best version of yourself, katulad ng sinabi ko, ko kanina, you can contribute to the we. So, yun yung pinaka-favorite ko na part. Sabi nga ni Sir Nelson, it's not going to be easy. Kasi wala namang business so sobrang easy. So, we Filipinos normally look for an opportunity na madali. And sabi ni Michael Jordan, wala doon yung growth, wala doon yung success. Kasi kung madali yan, lahat ng tao kaya yan. At kung lahat ng tao kaya yan, walang breakthrough doon. Wala kang makuwang success doon. So, uh, dapat ang hanapin mo, yung something na natatakot ka gawin, yung feeling mo hindi mo kaya. Because when you were able to do it, ay grabe. Sobrang saya mo. Feeling mo, ay, ang galing ko pala. And if you set your mind to succeed, every process, even it, if it is painful, it's going to be a fun cycle. So, katulad sa akin, never, kung, never ako, hindi ko natandaan na nagsabi ako na nahihirapan ako sa Sunday. I just always say na, wala, masaya siya. Kasi, makikipag-usap ka lang sa tao, tuturuan mo sila about their finances, if they get a product, that's it, boom. You have your commission, you were able to help the person. Diba? Masaya ka. So, lahat nung kailangan i-learn, i-learn the process, lahat nung painful sin zones, lahat nung uh, mga kaibigan mo na bigla kang inawasan in all, it's part of the process. I love, most of the time, tinatawa na ko, tignan mo tong friend ko, biglang hindi na lang nag- Nag, nag message and all. So, it's all part of the process and I'm having fun doing it. So, yun, yun yung first reason ko kung bakit ako nag-join kay Sun Life. So, I don't know, I'm sure most of you here have their own reasons. So, um, I hope kung, kung ano man yung reason mo, makuha mo siya kay Sun Life. But, for you to, be, to, to get that, you have to inform your managers also. Kasi nga, di ba, sabi namin, yung, yung mission statement ng, ng, ng branch namin is Nurture Dreams Transform Life. So, we are really into dreams. So, my next reason kung bakit ko gustong sumari kay Sun Life is I just wanted to learn how to invest. And guys, sobra naman din yung binibigay ni Sun Life para matuto ka mag-invest. They invited incredible speakers sa branch, sa team, sa Sun Life wide. Ewan ko na lang pag hindi ka pa natuto. Uh, kaya, grabe, sobrang free learning. Kasi outside, you have to pay for these people. And these are in the names of Jung Merida. So, sobrang galing na wealth planner. Uh, Rex Mendoza, may-ari ng Rumper. So, I don't know if you know Marvin Herbo. So, siya yung sa Stock Smarts. Si, ano ba to? Randall Chongson. So, finance guy. Siyempre, si, si ba to? Francis Kong. So, sila lahat combined into one Francis Kong yun. Siyempre si Coach Ress, yan naman for more of personal development. So, yung, yung mga hinihingi ko, sobrang swak din ang binigay ni Sunday. As in, uh, I was not just able to learn the logic of investment. 
I was able to acquire the habit. Kaya nga, I myself is an investor too. At believe it or not, nag-trade na ako. I never imagined myself trading stocks on my own. So ngayon, dahil alam ko na down yung market, so I just tried and I put some money on 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 the stocks. Every day, medyo tinitignan ko siya. Exciting din pala. So long as you know the basics, you can do it yourself. So, ako, uh, nag, yun, uh, nag, naglagay ng, ng different types of investments. I also have a brick and mortar type of business. So, meron kami parang comedy comedy bar na sinet up. Uh, yeah, nag invest sa stocks. Um, was able to fund for the office kasi nag-public practice din ako. So, Sobrang amazing. Kasi yung mga mindset din ng mga tao, halos lahat sila investors mindset. So you will not only learn how to invest, you will be an investor too. So, sobrang galing. So yung third and final reason, I don't know if you're learning anything, pero yun, if, if yes, can you give a uh, thumbs up man lang? Kasi hindi ko kayo nakikita eh. So yan. Definitely. Uh, wala, wala naman screen. Wait, wait lang. Nawala ba screen? Now, we can still ano, see the screen. Okay. Sa akin siya nawala. Intayin ko lang. So, yung third reason ko, okay. nang nabog siya. Kita nyo pa? Bumalik na eh. Yes po. Nice, thanks. Oh, yeah, we can so, see. third reason ko kung bakit ko gustong uh, mag-join kay Sunlight is to learn a little extra. Of course, if I'm the one sharing here, you know, I did not just earn a little extra, right? Kasi kung little extra, hindi nila i-invite. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> uh, first few stints of my, of my career in Sunlife, so the first year and all, alam din nga nila, Miss Wayne, kasi sila yung manager ko, sila yung tagapokpok sa akin, eh. Uh, I'm not earning so much, pero I'm earning just enough for me to, kumbaga, have extra in my pocket. So, yung sahod ko kasi before sa firm, sakto yun sa gastos namin sa bahay. As in, sakto. Bawal makulangan. Bawal ako mali kasi kulang na. So, yung kinikita ko sa sun life, ano siya, for myself. Para may mabila akong damit, makakain man lang sa labas and all. Kumikita ako ng around 20,000 per month kay sun life. May mga times na kumikita din ako ng 30. So, 15 kasi yung threshold ko. 15,000. So, pag kumita ako ng 15,000 before, okay na, tama na. Pero little by little, if if you are in, an entrepreneur, you'll do the math. I'm earning 20,000 regularly na per month at that time. I'm spending one hour, two hours a day. Minsan hindi pa yun consistent ha. Kasi may, syempre may mga weeks na hindi ka magsasunlight. So, nung, nung, nung kinarir ko na siya, it was able to fund for my dream. Ang dami na mga ano. Wait lang, no? So, yan. Um, it actually funded for for my dream. So, kahit na sobrang short stint lang siya, in a year's time, ito yung mga na-accomplish natin. So, um, ito yung gumagawa kami ng parang dream board before. Puso yan, pag birthday mo, papagawin ka ng dream board. Kasi nga, nurture dreams, transform lives, eh, ba? So, yan, yung mga dreams ko, number one doon yung uh, bahay. Kasi nga, nag-revent lang kami. I wanted to send my kid into a good school, makabuo ng team sa sunlight, makapag-public practice. So, true enough, in in just one year, so it's 2017 kasi ako nag-resign sa firm. 2018, nagawa ko siya lahat. So, yan. So, yan. Napag-aral ko yung baby ko, na-enroll ko siya sa magandang school. Na yung tuition niya, siguro kahit i-add mo lahat ng baon ko, tuition ko, mula elementary hanggang college, mas mahal pa yung tuition niya na isang set. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun. So, sorry ko nga, grabe pala, mahal pala. <laughs> Pero, thing is, of course, you wanted to provide um, better opportunities for the next generation. 
I don't have anything against with public school. Laking public school ako eh. Pero ang hugot ko dun is, there's really more opportunities for those that graduated in a good school because of the network itself, mindset of the people around you. And normally, uh, hindi mo yun makukuha sa public school. Kaya yun yung pinakahugot ko sa para essential sa good school. Of course, I was able to uh, create my team in accounting. Nagtotok din ako sa PICPA. So, if may mga accountants dyan. So, I have more time to do what I'm passionate about. And passion ko is, is still accounting. I have my firm. And I still do good in Sunday. Because I know it's a good business also. I have a team. So, we were awarded as uh, Field Management Excellence Awardee on our serious year and I couldn't ask for more. Most of them are CPAs too, may engineers dyan, tapos merong mga entrepreneurs na din. So, mga bata kami, pero itong maganda dito, 40 years old na yan, di lang halata. May formalin ata yan sa bahay. <laughs> pero yan, mostly millennials kami. Kaya nga, isa na <laughs> ganyan yung tsura pag 40. Tapos, I was able to buy my my car. Wala akong magandang photo. Kinanap ko lang yung kanina. So, it, it's it's actually a utility used for daily consumption. Hindi ako, hindi ko hugot yung car eh. Pero nung, nung meron ka na, kailangan pala siya, no? As in, tag-tag yan. Sobrang gamit na gamit. So, unlike for other people na talagang dream nila yung car, sa akin, basic lang basta may pang transport. Pero ngayon, pag meron ka na, isipin mo na, um, parang mas maganda mag-upgrade din. Siguro sa susunod. Pero for now, dahil investor mindset tayo, tatagtagin natin yan hanggang 5 years. So yan, I was able to buy my own car. Comfort of transport is there. Sobrang amazing. And if I were in the corporate, I know I wouldn't be able to afford that. Kasi yung amortization pa lang yan, half na nung salad niyo. Eh yung maintenance pa, yung gas pa. Tapos ito yung pinakabigas achievement ko. So yan, di ba ang pangarap ko is magkaroon kami ng sariling bahay. I was able to build a four-story house. First floor is for my father. Second floor yung sa akin. Sa third floor, dalawang pinto yan sa mama ko tsaka sa ate ko. Tapos yung fourth floor for our for my office. So, grabe. Sobrang, dyan ako sobrang um kinikilabutan because i was able to build that and guys it's not loan it's cash so wala yang um, wala yang utang kahit yung car wala din siyang utang so yun uh sobrang saya because i was just actually just asking for a little bit and it was i was blessed with, with so much and i hope once you decided to, to be a financial advisor, you are able to see their success too. And last message is, um, if you think you're already okay, by yourself, just one request, go beyond yourself. Because it's not, not everything is just about you. It's about the people around, the people you can touch, the people you can share your your greatness more. Expand yourself. Because when you do, if you choose to be better, will follow. Yung kaibigan mo, yung close friend mo, yung kapitbahay mo, yung family mo, other, di ba? Like for example, ngayon, uh, yung mga nag-invite sa inyo, kanina may nagbanggit si Jen kasi sobrang galing niya and all. Dahil ginalingan niya, she was able to inspire other people around her. And if she were able to inspire there is a big chance na yung na-inspire niya na yun, gagahin yung ginawa niya. And will choose to be better too. will choose to be successful too. So imagine, one act of deliberate intention to be more affects the entire circle. Other people around you would choose to improve too. So I hope you choose to improve yourself. You always to the world, you owe it to your friends, you owe it to your family, and most especially, you owe it to yourself. Thank you, po. Thank you, Thank you po. Miss Tina, can I ask a question? Tina, sure. Q&A. Sorry. Um, 
Was there in any um in any man. was there in any part or any time in your journey with Sun Life that um, you felt or believed like it's an advantage in some way for CPA because you're good with numbers or anything like that? Just curious. Wala, walang ganong wala. Um, kasi kung really good with numbers, so. Hindi yan totoo, charot. Yes. Um, normal conception is that yun nga, pag-account. Kung magalala, nandito naman ako, tutulungan ka ta. So, magaling naman ako sa numbers na nagal. Pero, I did the, I did not take it as an advantage at the time. Kasi, hindi ko naisip na ang ang pinikator namin is financial services nung nag-umpisa. Ang iniisip ko, selling business pa rin siya. So, nananaig yung sa akin na hindi ako marunong mag-sell. I've never been a seller. Oh, okay. So, andun yung focus. Of course, eventually, naging, naging, magiging ano mo siya, kung saan ka man galing, even nurses, IT, lahat yan, kung saan kayo galing, magiging edge siya over other financial advisors. Kasi normally, yun din yung magiging circle of clients mo na. Tapos, dun ka uunit. Pero, yung first ko, hindi ko siya nakisip na advantage. Most especially because I see Sun Life before as a selling career. More than uh, a business giving financial advice. Okay. Thank you. Other questions? I'm fresh naman ng SM ko. Hindi ko kasi kayo nakikita na naka-share screen eh. Good morning. Ang galing-galing na siya. Good morning. Ito ba yan? And the instructions eh, pasensya na kayo ah. Ganun talaga pag work from home. Other questions guys? Wala na. Tina, paano mo minamanage yung oras mo before no part-timer ka tapos uh, you were still working with corporate? Paano mo siya minanage yung oras mo? Uh, crucial yung role ng manager. Kasi mas madalas dahil uh, nag-work ka. Uh, to honest feedback. Tapos gusto mo yung ginagawa mo. Mapababad ka dun eh. Mababad ka doon in a sense uh, most of your time doon talaga mapupunta. Pero syempre dahil meron kang manager, alam mong part ka ng team. Normally, i-remind ka nila, Tina, you have to give time to Sun Life, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, minsan, kapag ka maganda na yung business, kunyari, um, marami ka na-close, di ba? So, by ignite siya, ay, ang dami, ang dami ko na-close, dami kong pera, charot. So, parang, tuloy-tuloy yun, tuloy-tuloy yung stint na ganun. Mamamanage mo siya every day, mag- magsisat ka ng 2-3 hours a day para sa Sun Life business. Pero there will come a time na yung pagka, ang tawag ko doon, tinabangan. Kung baga parang sa lahat ng message mo, nag sila. Tapos since uh, employed ka, titigil ka eh. Ang gagawin mo, mag-cross ka na lang ulit dun sa work mo. Kasi sabi mo, ay, ang hira. Ang hira pa rin ito. So, kung sa time management, really, it's your leaders. Kasi babalik ka nila eh. I-remind ka nila, it's still your job. You choose to have two jobs and therefore you have to really manage your time to incorporate sunlight along the way. Because, sabi ko nga before, yung, yung learn a little extra, yung learning how to sell, yung learning investment. In my first year sa sunlight, hindi ko natutunan lahat yun. Wala akong nakuha doon. Just because I really don't have time to learn. I don't have time to, to integrate myself sa, sa sunlight. And wala akong time para sobrang mag-cry. Ms. Tina, question po. Direct employee po kayo sa Sunlight or belong po kayo sa third party ni Sunlight. Guys, ano tayo? Para tayong broker. So we are a franchise ni Sunlight. We, we are under employee. They pay us professional fees in doing up. So hindi tayo part ng payroll nila. Part tayo ng professional fee expenses nila. So, we are like uh, getting the franchise of Sun Life to sell products, but we are third party. Very different po ang benefits niyo po sa kanila. Uh, sa employees, 
Oo, different. Kasi hindi tayo sa horan eh. Hindi tayo 15-30 nakaka-receive ng specific amount. Uh, wala rin tayo. Pero, ang maganda with Sun Life, even if third party tayo, they extend group life insurance to us. They extend um, a provident plan for us. They have retirement benefits for us. Uh, they also give uh, ang tawag doon? HMO. Pwede tayo ma-affiliate to, to an HMO, we can apply. So, they, they extend those benefits. Yung mga loan programs nila extended din to us. Ang hindi lang uh, extended sa atin yung 15-30 na salary actually. Kasi nga, we earn by commission. Okay. Other questions, guys? So, wala na. Ako na lang. Sige. How do you manage uh, rejections? How do you manage rejections? I don't know. I don't manage them. I just take them in. So, parang rejection kasi is part of, of growing it. It's part of the process. And at some point, you just have to take it in. Kasi nga, uh, on those rejections, you will grow. Sabi nga nila, wala namang nag-grow sa positive feedback. Eh. Kung nare-reject ka, number one question mo is, is it really about you? Minsan kasi sa akin, uh, ini, uh, uh, nilalagay ko yung, yung sarili ko sa mga other person na, na nilisasal ko. Most of the time, um, at some point, it's about you, but most of the time, it's really not about you. So, the rejection just happened because it has to happen. Imagine yourself being the sales lady sa mall. Diba sila, grabe sila. Good morning, ma'am. Ano pong gusto nyo? Ito po, maganda po ito, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos ikaw, since hindi mo naman, hindi naman yung intention mo bumili nung kunyari payong at that time, di ba lalagpasan mo si ate? Grabe ka. Sobrang saya niya. Grabe yung deliberate effort niya to really reach out to you para mabenta yung product niya. Pero, on on your end, eh, hindi ko yung gusto eh. So, lalagpasan ko siya. Is it, is it about ate? May mali ba sa kanya? Pwedeng wala, di ba? Pwedeng yung kataong kausap niya, hindi lang ready to take in the new, the, the product, the discussion, the enthusiasm and all. So, yun, along the way you'd meet, um, rejection, my advice is just take it in and then to don't take it personally. But of course, with every experience, learn from it. Ask yourself the reason why, what can I do better next time? How can I improve? And then, yun, just keep keep on going. Yeah. Tina, last na. Para at least uh, uh, on a positive note. Last year, magkano kinita mo total one year sa sunlight? <laughs> <laughs> Total na lang. Or magkano yung bahay na for ano? Hindi kami makukutang, promise. Proximity yung bahay. Yung car is 1M. Yung kinita ko sa sunlight last year. So nag-NBRT ako. Okay. Siguro close to 2M yung kinita ko kay sunlight. Last year. Tapos yung kinita ko sa firm, ganun din. <laughs> so, hindi ka tulad ng mga bricks and mortar uh, businesses sir Nelson na hindi masyado kong kita. Sarap. <laughs> yung mga 2 to 3 M din. So, halos pantay. Yung kinita. Pero yun, hindi ko siya magagawa kung hindi ako nagsanda. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tapos siguro yung iba gusto mo lang, magkano kay Nita ni Sir Nelson? O si Tina, makakasakot siya, nakauntat namin yan eh. Magkano <laughs> last year? Wag, ayoko na i-share. Kasi sasabihin nila hindi totoo eh. Gusto niyo pakita ko yung payslip, Charot. <laughs> Pakishare eh, to lang. Team. Total Pakishare na lang, one year. Client ano, relationship. Siguro kinita nila Sir Nelson as a couple, mga nasa 30 nila. 30. That's a lot of zeros. Yes. Sana all. 
Yeah. Ay, may question po ako. Before sa question, may thoughts lang ako na gusto i-share. Nakaka-inspire yung mga yung mga figures and all. Pero ako mas na kasi hindi ako seller. Um and for the longest time, as a corporate world ako. Pero I don't know kung bakit parang nagtitinggal na inspire ako um to continue. First, I really want to start na i-insure ko yung family ko um if I'm able and I hope it's sooner rather than later. And then at the same time, I just want to talk to my friends para ma-insure din sila kasi I want them to kasi yung mga nang, basta itong na, nangyari ngayon is parang for me ha is an eye opening i op i open na siya na we really need to to um plan ahead and bigger plans not just plan until 20 2030 basta bigger than we can imagine so ang nasa isip ko talaga ngayon is to really um be in, uh, to inspire others na parang maging eye opener din sa kanila tong nangyari so ang nasa isip ko is um i want to do sun life and at the same time i still am not ready to let go of the corporate world my question is paano po yung um what you call this kasi ang network ko is more on nasa um, ibang bansa yung mga friends ko and then if i for example um if god's if if it's god willing na um we can go abroad ulit how does it work po if i will be able to inspire my friends um, to help them out, prepare for a bigger future. So, marami ako nakuha doon. I actually can relate to you. Yung number one, ano yung gagawin ko? I, I was never a seller. Tapos, I'm looking into sales right now. Ano yung, paano, paano siya nangyari? Paano siya ginawa? So, sa akin, sabi ko nga, before I started Sun Life, I tried different multi-level marketing. Nagbibenta sila ng sabon, ng ng supplements, hindi ko siya kaya ibenta. Hindi na nga ako seller, tapos hindi pa ako naliliwala dun sa product. Tapos guys, sa personal hindi ako makinis. Maganda lang yung filter ng film. So, sabi ko, ah, oh, this is not something we really, can really represent. So, ang hirap. So, sabi ko, number one, is if you wanted to go to sales and you're not a seller, find a product that you really believe in na bentang-benta din sa'yo. Kasi kapag bentang-benta yun sa'yo, walang reason para hindi mo siya masyari. Eh sa akin, bentang-benta sa akin yung insurance. Bentang-benta sa akin yung risk planning. Bentang-benta sa akin yung savings. Kasi sabi ko, um, kung meron kami yan before, hindi kami sobrang hirap eh. So, ganun. So, number one, you have to be really in love with the product. So, last year, actually, nag-launch si Sun Life ng Fit and Wear. So, health product yun. As in, sobra diehard fan ako nun. Kaya sabi ko, kahit nakapikit ako, kahit hindi ako seller, kaya kong ibenta yan. Kaya kong i-share sa'yo yung good benefits niya. Kasi kung kayo nga, meron kayong, kunyari, foodie kayo, yan, sila Miss Rain, may ligyan sa pagkain. Kung makapagkwento yan ng pagkain, akala mo talaga, akala mo talaga, talaga. Meron ba yung, ano, ano ba yun? Uy, grabe siya. Dumi, ano, meron silang incentive yung sa, ano ba yung tuna? So, ang, ang description ni Sir Jeff doon, grabe beshi, feeling ko magugustuhan mo talaga to. Grabe, sobrang sarap. It melts in your mouth. <laughs> so, alam mo yun, uh, normally ganun eh. Uh, you don't have to be super seller at the start, but you have to really believe on the product, on the advocacy that we have. Because when you do, it's really easy. Just tell them. Ang grabe, ang ganda nito. Ito yung investment, yung features, ganito siya, ganito mag-save, etc., etc. Number two question mo is, paano yung mga friends mo abroad? So, sa amin, as an, as, as an ad auditor, uh, normal namin na stint is from Deloitte, mag-abroad kami. So, lahat ng friends ko, marami akong clients na nasa abroad. Kasi ganun yung normal stint. Dahil nga number one kami globally, sobrang mabango yung, yung resume namin abroad. So, meron kami nasa Malta, Guernsey, Jersey, lahat ng mga countries na hindi mo alam na nag exist pala. Meron kami nun. As well as Australia, US, ganyan. So, ang ginagawa ko sa kanila, dahil alam ko kung kailan sila normally umuwi. Umuwi sila summer at saka December. Dinidiscussan ko na yun online. So, kasi kailangan nila nandito sa Pilipinas. And I, for one, um, has been in the crossroad kung mag-abroad ba ako or hindi. So, alam nila madam yan. Bago ko mag-full-time, full-time ng sunlight, 
may mga offer tayo ng US tsaka ng Australia. Yun yung ah, parang masaya din doon. <laughs> so, nung namili ako, uh, I just choose yung Philippines because I have the capability to be an entrepreneur here. And if you were able to see the beauty being an entrepreneur, hindi mo na gugustuhin na maging employee kahit sa bansa. So, gugustuhin mo na pumunta sa bansa na yun para magbakasyon, hindi para maging employee. So, sa akin ang pinakahugot ko dahil hindi ako mahilig mag-travel. Ang hugot ko lang, gusto kong pumunta ng Australia, gusto kong pumunta ng US kasi gusto kong i-visit yung friends ko. I just wanted to get a little feel kung ano yung ginagawa nila doon. And nakukuha ko yung kay Sunlight. So, last year, ng Australia, nakitira ako doon sa mga friends ko na, na nag-work doon. Pwede din pumunta ng Dubai, pwede pumunta ng US. Halos kahit saan country, meron kaming representative. So, parang sa akin, uh, right now, sobrang blessed ako na sabi ko, I get to still experience being there. But I would not experience being an employee there. Kasi medyo mahirap. May mga countries na races, hindi natin ma maano. Pero yun, so ang strategy mo is, paanon mo na sila, ipaplant mo na. Normally yun, pag umuwi yun dito sa Pilipinas, ako yung unang minimit. Bakit? Kasi kapag ka na umuwi na yun sa kanila, laubos na yung pera nila. So kailangan, ang target, pag uwi nila, mamit nila ako. Minsan sinusundo ko sila sa airport. Para diretso sa'yo. Tapos pa, sa sige, uwi na kayo. Ganon. Kasi may mga instances, kapag inimit nila ako bago sila umalis, lo, wala na silang pera ko eh. Kawawa naman. Naubos na ng mga kamag-anak, alam nyo naman, yung culture natin na nalil sa yeah, yeah. And it's really yeah. important sa mga nag-a-abroad na makapag-save sila. Sobrang so, Lalo na kung wala silang balak mag-migrate at babalik sila ng Pilipinas, wala na silang masyadong career dito eh. Kasi pinorgo nila yon once they choose abroad. Diba, normally yung mga companies, mahilig sila hierarchy, hierarchy, hierarchy. Kung hindi ka dito nag-stay, minsan yung hierarchy na yun nawawala. And kung, kung babalik sila later on sa Pilipinas, normally yung career nawawala. So, magiging business owner sila dito. And it's really important na meron silang say. How to start? Ano, ano mga pinag-just start back on? So, may nagtanong, private. okay na po ba yun, madam? I thank you po. Sorry po. Follow up lang po. What if si um, client or ano bang tawag dyan? Si client. Client. Ano? Si client is naging, so the moment, the time na nag-sign siya, um, Philippine citizen pa siya. And then, mm -hmm. Canadian citizen na siya. Will that affect yung plan na kinuha niya? Walang effect. So, ang, ang pinaka-rule lang, mag-sign sila dito. So, minsan, kunyari, di ba kinuwento ko, minsan, uh, mamimit ko sila bago sila umalis. Basta mapasahin ko sila dito, kahit mabahid sila nung nasa abroad na. Okay lang yun. Tapos, yung number two, kahit magpalit sila ng citizenship and all. Kasi kahit naman Canadian, Indian, na-insure naman natin eh. Basta nagperma sila sa Pilipinas. Kasi yung jurisdiction ng license natin, Philippines lang. So, since this time, di ba, may hindi na required yung wet signature, it, hindi ba siya applicable um, moving forward? Uh, okay. uh, applicable yung hindi, most likely magiging applicable pa rin yung not requiring wet signature. Pero kasi may attestation doon na nandito ka sa Pilipinas nung nag-I agree ko. Kailangan uh, Understood. Understood. Yes. Thank you po. Okay. Tapos, meron pa dito isa, how to start as a financial advisor. Ano po dapat pagdaanan dyan sa show background ko. Um, yung how to start, you're going to uh, have an online training. You're going to have to pass an exam. Uh, tapos, may mga series of trainings na i-require in details and requirements and all. So, yun normal lang. Para kang nag-onboarding sa company. May ganun din sa Sunlight. Pero ang pinaka-crucial doon, yung maipasa mo yung insurance commission exam. Kasi may lisensya po tayo as a financial advisor. Hanggat di mo yung napapasa, wala. Walang mangyayari. So, that's how uh, technically you're going to start. Tapos, to be part of the team, you should be able to at least meet people na kanyari ngayon, meron kayong intention. Pwede na kayong magkausap ng mga friends nyo. Mag-trial run na kayo. Tapos, pwede nyo na din init yung mga UMs nyo. Mag-trial, ano na rin kayo? The trial discussions, paano ginagawa yung sa Sunlight and all. Kasi, first, ang kailangan mo i-take in, ano yung mga products na meron tayo. Yun yung mga boring stuff. But you have to learn it because ito yung nire-represent natin. Pero yung number one na advice ko from you guys, 
is for you to really um, check the good benefits of having an insurance, having savings, and having health plan. Tapos, I advise, dapat may plan din kayo. Imagine yourself recommending something to someone. Tapos pag tinanong ka, meron ka niyan, hindi, wala nga eh. Pagka kumuha ka, kuha na lang din ako. Parang na-convince kayo. Parang <laughs> So, yun siya. Miss Tina, how did you negotiate your crush and crush and to stay with sunlight? Huh? Hmm. Stay with sunlight? Normally kasi, uh, di ba what we do, we create, we discuss financial planning. So, tinuturoan namin sila kung paano, uh, how to save, how to invest, what are their options, and what are their goals, how to get into that goals. Tapos, gagawa kami ng parang program, parang financial plan, kung paano natin ma-achieve yung goals mo na yun. Normally, what Sun Life can caters are for long-term goals. So, kaya very important na yung initial discussion mo sa kanya, buy, may buy-in talaga si client. Kasi kung hindi, i-explain mo rin na long-term siya. So, you don't encourage client to stay. They just normally stay off the course because it's it's the plan. Ayun yung plano eh. Yun yung sagot dun sa kung paano mo ma-reach yung goal niya. Of course, syempre yung, yung you you take care of the relationship. Uh, you don't just sell for the purpose of selling. Hindi po tayo nagtitinda ng damit. Hindi po tayo nagtitinda ng pagkain ng tuyo. Na pagtapos mo yung deliver, tapos na. So normally we stay uh, sa lives ng clients natin for life. Yun yung advocacy ni Sunlight. Advisors for life. And guys, sobrang amazing if you started young in this career. Sila, ano kasi hindi na sila, not so young sila nag-start. So I started like 22, 23. May kita mo yung journey ng client mo guys. Kasi yung mga una kong clients, tough yun eh. Tapos na-promote, naging manager, tapos nag-aasawa, nag-aanak. Kasi ang amazing mong cycle. Kasi mas susubaybayan mo siya. And syempre, nandun pa lang ako sa stage na ay nag-aanak na, iba na naman yung need. So, sobra part ka, magiging ninang ka. Sana hindi naman nila ako invite sa ninang sa kasal. Kasi sila, madam, ninang sila sa kasal. Ako sa mga anak lang. Ganon. So, yun. Uh, you'd stay uh, as part of the life of your clients for long. If you stay in sunlight for long. Ang question is, kung magiging stay ka sa sunlight, yung client magiging stay eh. Yung advisor, misan hindi. <laughs> Ayun siya. Other questions. Pa ay yung kung bakit hindi nag-stay yung uh, Sunlight agents minsan sa Sunlight. It's not because ayaw na nila. Si Sunlight kasi has high standards. We have validation. So if you don't hit the metrics, they will let you go. So may ganun siya. Sige, thank you. The rest siguro, all the other details, detailed question, you can actually ask your uh, UMs later on during your one-on-one -on -one with them. Thank you very much, Tina. You did a good job. As usual, as always, palakpakan natin yung beshi ng bayan, si Tina. Yeah. Thank uh, you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. So,